As Milton continues to grow, we are reminded of Helene. Debris piles everywhere, hundreds, maybe thousands of these where people have had to come in and rip things out of their homes. The big question is, is Milton going to the north of Tampa or to the south? Makes a big difference in the surge, but maybe not the wind. We could see winds of category three strength, so well over 110, 120 miles per hour. And check this out. All this debris sitting out here becomes projectiles with wind like that. So whether it's the water that allows all of this to slosh around again and we get a higher storm surge, perhaps doubling, even the wind with a storm that goes to our south still makes for a very, very dangerous prospect of getting a lot of this debris blown around and creating new problems. Either way, Tampa Bay needs to be ready. They're gonna start shutting down infrastructure here where they're gonna try and protect as much of the water and the electricity as they can. And that may be well before the storm even gets here, perhaps starting tomorrow on Tuesday. Only time will tell what type of an impact Milton will have. In Tampa, I'm meteorologist Jim Cantori.